Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeff is back with another video. All right, y'all, it is TGIF fish segment of the week, and this week we actually doing fish. Fish, and I think the last couple of times it wasn't fish or some kind of seafood, or last year's the week it was alligator. But I'm doing fish this week, fresh caught fish. This fish you see laying in front of you, I caught it two days ago. That's how fresh it is. And what I do, I'm going to explain to y'all a little bit, and then I'm going to step off, take this fish off to fillet it, fillet it up, cut it in strips, because I'm not going to fry it whole like this, the whole fillet. I'm going to cut the fillet in half. But what I do when I catch catfish, I, let me tell y'all one thing. I love fishing. Growing up in the country, my parents taught me three things, especially my dad, how to be self-reliant. You know, I'm very self-reliant. We, My parents taught us that all of us kids be self-reliant, not to be reliant on anyone, because if they... If you're very, very reliant on other people or other things, they control you. Some 100% control you no matter what. So what he taught us growing up, especially the boys, if you can hunt, you can fish, you can grow a garden, you can survive no matter what. No matter what. You always eat and always have uh, provide for your family, friends, and neighbors. So, yeah, I'm an avid fisherman, avid hunter, and I love my garden and I love growing things. So what I do, y'all, I love fishing. Of course, catfish, I don't keep nothing under maybe a pound. I just throw it back. And to me, it's not worth it the way I cook it. But when I clean them, I take them. Of course, I gut them. I cut the head off. And usually, I leave the tail on it. Because when I leave the tail on it, it's easier for me to take this fillet off. But this one was a, this is a two-and-a-half-pound catfish, pretty big. So it wouldn't fit in my food saver bag. So I had to whack off the tail. And, uh... Where I can fit it in there. I always freeze it after I clean it, gut it, wash it really, really good. And, and uh, I freeze it in water. I put the water in the food saver. If I'm gonna use it quickly, I'll put it in a Ziploc bag. I know it's not gonna be in the freezer that long. I'll put it in a Ziploc bag, fill it up with cold water, and freeze the fish in water. It, To me, it preserves the fish better and no freezer burn and all that if you freeze it in water. That's why I do mine. That's why I did this one. So yeah, what I'm doing, I'm gonna step off here I'm on, this is going to be a big boy here. It's a lot of nice what I like. It's not too big and not too small. You get them much bigger, you just have to throw them back because too much fat on them is inedible. Is that a word? Not eatable? Inedible? Yeah. So, and also I'm going to do some, I'm going to throw together some uh, hush puppies to go with it. And I like frying my fish in uh, uh, Crisco if possible shortening. To me, it, it, it just it's just a better tasting fish. And now, like I said, I use my Fish fry here, I, I used to put a little flour in there. My Louisiana fish fry, I love this stuff. Because I already seasoned, I don't have to do nothing to it. And it works well. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to step off here, take this filet off, clean it up, get it, get my uh, onions chopped up for my for my uh, hush puppies. And I'll probably do the hush puppies first. Throw them together first and let them cook it. Because y'all know, if you follow me enough, I love eating on the hush puppies as my fish is frying. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. TJF, Fish of the Week, coming up. All right, y'all, we back. I just want to show y'all a little something. I guess I should have did this on video. I got my thing say I should have. If y'all want to know how to clean and fillet a fish, let me know. Some people say, oh, that's disgusting. That's nasty to be good. If you want to see me how I do a uh, clean and gut and even fillet the fish, let me know. But, yeah, see, I got nice, two nice fillets on here. They got one, two. And then you see how clean it come off the bone. See that? And then here's the skin. Just skin it just like that. Take the skin off with the knife. Very easy, very simple, y'all. And all I'm gonna do, like I say, I'm gonna just uh, cut the fillets pretty much in half, huh? Oh yeah, we'll cut them in half. We'll get two, got enough for four people here. And that's what I do, and I'm gonna bring these up and I'm gonna fry them up later. And see, I'm teaching how to cut it again. You know what? I think I'm gonna cut it again, y'all. Give me some nice, Nuggets here. There we go. One more here. One more. All right, now we got some nice catfish nuggets right there for us. So, yeah, y'all let me know in the comments if you want to see me how to clean the fish and from beginning to end. A lot of people think it's disgusting, nasty, uh, something they wouldn't want to see, but. A lot of people that go fishing out there, they catch a fish, and they don't even know how to clean the fish after they get it. So, yeah. So, anyway, y'all, I'll be right back. We're going to start on these hush puppies. Be right back. 
Okay, y'all, we are back. Okay, y'all, we're gonna knock these hush puppies out right quick. All I'm gonna do is some flour back here. It's a little flour here. I like to put a little flour in my, in my hush puppy. Corn meal, I'm gonna just throw this together. I'm gonna put a recipe in the, in the, in the description of the video, y'all. So don't think I won't, you don't know what the recipe is. Okay. Put a little sugar in there. Like a little sweetness in my hush puppies, y'all. A little salt and pepper. I forgot something out here, y'all. Put a little salt and pepper. Hold on just a second, y'all. Just a second. My hush puppies ain't gonna... If I don't put no baking powder, they ain't gonna pop up right. I'm gonna have a flat hush puppy. All right, put a little baking powder in here. All right. Move this out the way. Hold on, let me switch spoons here, y'all. That ain't the spoon for hush puppies. Okay. All right, mix that all up in there. Baking powder up out the way. Salt and pepper up out the way. Okay. Next up. Put my onions. I like lots of onions in my hush puppies. You can put bacon too in it if you want to. Some people put bacon in their hush puppies. Okay. Put an egg in here. Well, I like to do too, y'all. I'm going to put a, just a little oil in here. Not much. I got my oil heating up over here. I'm going to take a spoonful. Just put a little oil in there. Not much. And a little milk, y'all. Little by little. You don't want it too thick and you don't want it too thin. This should do it like that. Oh, yeah. Get it in all hooked uh, up in there. That's it, y'all. I mean, a little bit more uh, meal in here. Make it a little bit more mealy. And I like to let it set up, y'all, about 10 minutes. Anything I mix, especially the hush puppies, I definitely like to let it kind of sit. And all that stuff absorb in there. That's it. That's it, y'all. Old school hush puppies, right there. And I'll put a, a recipe in the description of the video. I can do these by heart, y'all. Because I've been making hush puppies so many years. When I first started cooking, I, I was in a seafood restaurant. And this was definitely my job on a nightly basis, y'all. Is cooking and making hush puppies. And I used to eat, I bet I eat 100 of these things a night. I loved them. And this actually is the recipe. So anyway, y'all, I'll be right back when they all heat up. And we're going to fry these hush puppies off and get to this old school fried catfish. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back. All right, y'all, before I start frying the catfish, I'm going to do a little something here. I like to put my catfish sometimes, a little buttermilk and egg, just kind of, you know, just kind of let it marinate a little until I get to it. I got an egg there. The rest of this buttermilk here. Throw the rest of that in there. Good way to use up my buttermilk. I'll put that on my list. Okay, let's mix that up in there. And I'm not going to season this catfish. Remember, the uh, season's already in the rub, y'all. It's already in the rub there. Cut my oil down over here. And I'm going to just throw this in here. And let it, let it hang out here about 15, 20 minutes, y'all. Right there. Okay. Now, I'm going to move y'all over here to my, my oil here that's heating up very hot here. I hope it ain't got it too hot. Let me see here. It's good here. Let me let me test one here. You know what? Y'all, I'm gonna be right back. Give me one second. Okay, y'all, we back. Okay, let me move y'all over here to the. There we go. To the grease here. All right. Now we're gonna start our hush puppies here. What I do, I like to stick the uh my uh scoop in the oil so the hush puppy can come right out easily. See that? Usually every three or four scoops. 
I'll throw it in there where they don't stick. A little bit more. Very easy, simple hush puppy, y'all. Like I say, you can't have a uh, fish without hush puppies, huh? Here. I don't want to overcrowd it too much. I'm going to move them around there. And we're going to let them, let them cook. I'm going to turn the oil down just a little. We're going to let them cook. They don't take maybe three, four minutes and they're ready. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. I want to show y'all a little something. Hush puppies, they'll talk to you. When they're ready to be turned over, they'll kind of talk to you. See this little thing busting out right here? When that busts out, that means it's wanted to be turned over. See this one there? Look at this one. See how it's busting out? Just flip it over. That one too. They'll pretty much tell you. There's one there. When it's time to be flipped over. Have to listen real close. They'll open their mouth up and tell you it's time to be flipped over, y'all. So these got about, maybe about one more minute. I'm going to take them off of here. And uh, we'll put the rest of them in, and we're going to have them, and then we're going to start on this catfish. Like I say, I'll eat half of these while I'm waiting for the catfish. When I do big fish fries in my house, I do like 100 of these. And I guarantee by the time the fish is ready, it's like 50 of them left. So anyway, y'all, I'll be right back. All right, y'all. Look at these right here. See these? Nice cuts puppies. See that? That's what you want, a nice golden brown. And make sure, I never add them, y'all. Make sure you put them on a rack. Don't put them on a paper towel, nothing like that. Make sure you put your anything you fry on a rack. Because if you put it on a paper towel, it's going to be nothing but a soggy mess. You're not going to have the crispiness of your fish, pork chops, chicken, whatever you're cooking. Make sure if you if, if it's possible. Do not put it on a on a uh, paper towel. So anyway, y'all, I got three more you see to cook off. Be right, we'll, we'll be back for the start of the show. Fried catfish. Be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Okay, y'all, we're going to take these out of here. Put them right here on the rack. Let me show y'all something here. Let me show y'all one here. See this hush puppy? I'm going to eat them while they warm. See this? Let me open it up and show y'all the goodness in there. See that? Perfectly cooked. See that? And nice and tender. Mm, mm, mm. I'll tell you, man, <laughs> my friends love them. They don't take long to make them either. Okay, let's get to this fish. Okay, what I'm gonna do, y'all? Move y'all back over here. I got my bag there. I got some flour in there. I use a little all-purpose flour. I like to cut this. Uh, the fish pie here, the Louisiana fish pie, I like to cut it down a little uh, with flour. Uh, I'm going to just something I like to do. You can use it straight like that, but I like to cut mine a little with the flour. So I'm going to mix it up in here. Grease is hitting up. It's nice and mixed up there. Now, I'm going to take it out of here, the uh, fish out of here, out of the buttermilk. Right, hold on, y'all. Just a second here, y'all. Give me one minute. Uh. I'm going to drain my fish. It's a lot better to, not easy to work with on camera here. <clears throat> Keep my hush puppy while I'm waiting. Y'all just excuse me while I'm eating hush puppy while I'm cooking. We all family here. Okay. Drain it out of there. All right. Okay, y'all. Here we go. And what I'm going to do is out the way. I think I can get about four or five fillets in this oil. I definitely don't want to over, overcrowd my 
deep fry. If you're playing along at home with temperature, I'm just, I just can climb that temperature by the heat of my face and the hands. But you're doing it on 350 degrees. If you got a deep fryer and don't know the right temperature, yeah. Here we go, y'all. Right in there. Like I said, you don't want to overcrowd your, your pan. I'm going to have to do three for right now. Just come up to keep it here. I'm going to let that thing fry really, really good. Hold on, let me move y'all over. Y'all ain't see what I'm doing. There we go. Yeah. We're going to let it fry. Usually take four or five minutes. Depending on how thick your, uh, your fish is. This is a pretty thick fatty fish. It's going to take a few minutes on this one. So, yeah. Anyway, y'all, I'll be right back again. TGIF fish segment of the week. Old school fried catfish. Was living about two days ago. Can't get no pressure than that. All right, y'all, we back. Okay. We're going to get this one out of here. Nice, crispy fish. Get this out of here and put the and start with the next one, y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, let's get this in the next batch in. Like I said, you definitely don't want to overcrowd your, your pan, y'all. Something you definitely don't want to do. So I'm doing like three at a time. Make sure I don't overcrowd my, my skillet, my wok. Let me show you the ones that just come out, y'all. Hold on just a second. These be these pretty. Look at that. Look how pretty those are. Fresh catfish. Can't get no and then no hush puppies. I'm telling you, it's gonna be some good eating around here in a minute, y'all. Gonna be some good eating around here in a minute. Like I say, you kind of make sure they kind of separated there from the beginning, but yeah. Old school fish fry today, y'all. Anyway, we'll be right back. Alright, y'all, I got the final batch in. Let me show you what I got right now, y'all. See this? See that pretty catfish, fried catfish there? Got my hush puppies. Yes, sir. I can't wait to dig in here, y'all. So anyway, I'm going to let this fry off. And when I come back, I'm going to have everything cleared up. And we're going to taste this. Move this around here. We're going to taste this. I got some old school, uh, which I keep a lot in my fridge. I usually make it about a quarter of the time. My old school, uh, Tartar sauce, because I fry a lot of fish and have a lot of fish. So when I do make my tartar sauce, I'm making a big batch at a time, keeping my fridge. Usually last a couple of weeks, but it don't last a couple of weeks in my fridge. I eat it, I'd be there it up within 10 days. Because like I said, I love fish. I love baked fish, fried fish, grill, all kinds of ways. So to my neighbors too. You know, like I said, I go fishing all the time. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. Once everything's played up, and we're going to try this out. Be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here. Look at this pretty fish here. Let me hold the whole plant up here so y'all can see it. Hope I don't drop it. Look at that. Put that on your plate for your neighbors and friends and family. They'll be happy. Okay, let me try this. I like this tail. You know this tail piece of the fish? I love it. Not the tail piece, but the... Let me show you how moist it is inside. Look at that. See how moist it is inside? Look at that pretty fish. And this thing is fresh, y'all. You already know. Caught this the other day. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Look at the flake in here. See how flaky? Pretty that fish is. I'm telling you. Mm. 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 Definitely hot. to do. Pawsaw. Put it like that. I love pawsaw. Mm. Another thing I like to do. I showed you hush puppy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Moist. Mm. I'm going to take the hush puppy and dip it in there too. 
I'm gonna try this out. I don't discriminate. <laughs> a bit more. Tail piece there. So crispy. Even though it's been sitting up about five, ten minutes, as I got the video going, did my thumbnails and all that, it's still crispy. Now notice now, if you don't do the seasoned batter, make sure you season your fish before. If you didn't see me season it, because the breading come pre-seasoned. It had just enough seasoning in there. That's why I like this particular bread. Just enough seasoning in there, the spice in it, for my taste. And then if somebody else wants more seasoning, they can always put more salt and pepper on it. But this perfectly seasoned. A bit more. Mm. I'm telling y'all, there's nothing like fresh fish caught when you come home and fry it. Mm. Mm. This is Thursday. I'm doing a video. This fish was caught Tuesday. Mm hmm. Two days old. Never been frozen. Never been frozen, y'all. I just put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the refrigerator. Because it was too big to freeze. And the other two I froze. I got about. I, I give a lot of fish away, too. Especially to my relatives in the country. I take it to her. Because one day she absolutely loves fish. Any kind of fish. And whenever I give a little baby about six or seven of them, I take them to her. Yep. One more bite of fish, y'all. Mm. And then we're gonna close with it. Oh man, look how flaky that fish is. I'm telling you. Pause off on there. Mm. 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 Sorry, y'all. I'm in my element right now. What's this fish? I'll be told your video out. Right now, I promise you. I promise you. So anyway, I told y'all I need to get my water and set it out here so I have it as I'm eating. But it is what it is. So if you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media account. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose, Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.